Good morning, guys. It's early in the morning. Just having a cup of coffee and just listening to the radio. I got a bad news for you guys. Today, I found out that one of my amplifier, it's not working. As you can see in the on the set, one of those guys shut down the lights on the bottom. It's working, but it has no power. So I ended up converting it to one of my receiver up here, which is which is my Fisher. And this is just an amplifier, guys, okay? Um, it has no tuner. So I ended up using my Pioneer tuner for now and using my Fisher as a backup. So sad that uh, my Pioneer here, my SA, um, 7800 has no power but when you turn this on the lights goes on but I'm not sure if the transformer is like totally dead so it's probably one of this mechanical I'm not 100% sure, but it could be, or the adapter, the transformer. So I ordered the transformer and it'll be here next month. Um, we're gonna replace the old ones. And we'll see if it works. And if it works, then it's good. So the reason why I want to fix this guys because this is my favorite uh, receiver and these are very expensive receiver and I don't want it to just you know keep it here and just sit down and do nothing so I want to fix it and you know work uh, make it work again because this is a good quality and the sound and these are expensive these are hard to find nowadays I check an eBay. Good coffee, by the way. I check an eBay and really don't have anything like this looks. But there's one for a thousand dollars, and I don't think I will spend that kind of money for just a stereo. I do love stereos, but I do love more money. So I don't want to spend that kind of money and I pay very low price for this so that's the consequence guys when you buy a used uh, receiver um, don't think that 100% it would work always all the time so you have to think 50-50 that sometimes it will die on you or it will give up or something might happen or never know because it's not brand new even brand new guys sometimes you know uh, it just died so sometimes it's a mechanical problems or you know so it doesn't matter really if it's brand new or not but most chances are like the used ones because they've been used for many years so I un totally understand and I'm getting that transformer and replace the old ones and we'll see it from there. And this thing will work again so we will see what's the problem with this uh, receiver but I have a feeling that it's the transformers because when I click this, all right, when I click this up, the power 
goes to the transformers and you will hear a sound from the transformer like you know when the transformers start kicking so you will hear a sound that it's on and it start working but this one right here nothing at all so the transformer i believe it's dead so so it's time to replace the transformer and it'll run again so about a week or two then i'll make another video then i'm gonna be working on this project here to fix this guy and i'll make this pioneer work again but for um for the meantime i'm using this tuner going to my fisher because this amplifier doesn't have a tuner so this is supposed to be a set like three sets there's got to be one on top here and another one but uh, i don't want to i'm just a receiver guys you know i like to get tuner and receivers in one um stereo i don't like three sets four sets it's too much so i just ended up buying this because he was selling this thing alone so thank god that i bought this so now are you ready to take can, advantage of this you can hear the seller's market right see, now you, you can hear a radio here for now Max first advantage start looking at that so guys uh another video from my pioneer um it's a little sad but once I got the transformer, I'll fix it, replace the old ones, and it'll run again. So, guys, that's it for today. That's the bad news for today. And I will see you guys when this Pioneer is fixed. So, stay tuned in the next video for that. And I'll see you guys next video. Ciao, ciao.